In my video on how to write a screenplay, I talked about how it's now perfectly acceptable to use a different font for your title on your title page or even a graphic for your title on the title page. Now, if you're using Final Draft and you're using a font that's supported by Final Draft, you're good to go. But if you're using something like Celtics or if you want to actually put a graphic instead of the title page, what do you do? I'll show you. So here's the title page for John August's script, Go. This is obviously a graphic and not a font. So how would we put something like this on our title page? Let's say we wrote the script, Stop, and we want this to be in place of the title on our title page. First of all, you're going to have to create that graphic. So you can use something like Photoshop, whatever. If you have a Windows machine and you don't have Photoshop, you could use an open source graphics program called GIMP that's free. I put the link down below. Create your graphic in whatever you want to create it in and then either in Adobe Photoshop or if you put the graphic in say a Word document and create your whole title page in the Word document, now what do you do? How do you attach that title page onto your script? You're gonna to go to this website that I have the link down below, Primo PDF, and you're gonna download and install it. What it is is it basically acts as a virtual printer, so you can select Primo PDF as the printer anytime you print something, and it will turn it into a PDF. So we'll pull up our title page, then we will say print and select Primo PDF. Now it has some options in the top if you wanna do pre-press, or print. I've always just used print and that kind of works. So use print, then you're gonna save it. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save it to. Let's save it to the desktop so we can find it. We'll call it stop. So now it'll come up as a PDF, it'll show it to us. So we have a PDF page of just our title page. Now you wanna close that because we're going to resave something to the same file and if you have it open, you're gonna get an error. So make sure you close the PDF now you go to whatever software you're using to create your screenplay. Pull up your screenplay, then when you go to print, again select Primo PDF, and then uncheck any option to print a title page. You don't wanna print a title page. Print to PDF, then when you're going to save the new PDF file, tell it to save on top of the same file that you just created. So we're going to click on stop.pdf that's on our desktop, that's where we put it, and then we'll say okay. Then Primo PDF is gonna ask us, do you want to overwrite this file or append? Do you want to just erase what's there and make a new file, or do you want us to add this on to what's there? We want it to add on to what's there. So we're gonna say append. Then it will add our screenplay to the previous PDF document that we made, and we should have our whole script now beautifully PDF'd, and we have our awesome title page in the beginning. Now for some reason you're having trouble printing and you can't figure out how to get rid of the title page on whatever kind of program you're using and it's printing the title page. What you can do is when you're printing with Primo PDF, tell it to only print pages two through whatever it is, 105 or whatever, and then Primo PDF will skip the title page even if you can't fight your screenwriting program and get it to skip the title page. So that's how I get graphics onto my title page. I hope that helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you later.